Okay, guys. Hey, this is um, example number two. All right, so this the numbers here are almost like the other problem that we just worked on, okay? So if you look at this here, um, you'll see that now we have 189 minutes, right? But we're still being asked to figure out how many hours this equals, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna ha we started with 189 minutes, and we're going to try to take out groups of 60, okay? We're taking out groups of 60 minutes. All right, and the reason we're doing that is because every time we were able to take out a group of 60 minutes, well, we already know um, 60 minutes is one hour, okay? So 60 minutes is one hour. Every time we take out, every time we take out a group of 60, that's gonna be one hour we're, we're uh, taking out of 189 minutes, all righty? So, again, let's go ahead and do this. So 189, will be right here in the division house and we have, are dividing it by 60 so we're trying to figure out how many times we can take 60 out of that division house is complete and across the street we have our gym alrighty so 60 times now this one is actually kind of easy you know why because we already did a problem very similar in example one. So we should already know that 60 times three is 180, all right? So over here, 60 times three, 60 times three equals 180, all right? Now if I go to 60 times four, I'll get 240. All right, and that's gonna be too big because I don't have 100, 240 minutes. I've got 189 minutes, right? So I can't go all the way to four, okay? But I already know I can make three groups of 60. Okay, so 60 times three, um, so, yeah, 60 times three is 180. I can take 180 minutes out of this, all right? And once I do that, I've got nine left, okay? So let's go ahead and, and um, fill this in right here. I've got three as my quotient. I was able to take out three groups of 60. Okay, and that gave me 180. And after I subtracted, I have nine right here left. All right, so my remainder is nine. Okay, so we already know that this three, we know from our other problem, this three represents three hours okay three groups of 60 three groups of 60 right so three hours now what about this nine okay so I got nine left over I got a remainder of nine okay so I had 189 minutes I've got after I took away 180 minutes I've got nine minutes left. So this nine right here represents how many minutes are left over here in the side. Okay. So this is three hours and nine minutes. I'll use the abbreviation for minutes because I'm running out of space. So 189 minutes will equal three hours and nine minutes. Okay. All right. So now, if you want to do what we did earlier and show this visually, I can still do the same thing. I can draw a bar model. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a bar model. Let me use black. Here's my bar model. Boom. All right. And, oops. So this whole bar is 189 minutes. There we go. And it's just like what we did earlier where we can just go ahead and subtract 60, subtract 60, subtract 60, right? So we already kind of know that if I take away, I, I know that if I have 189 minutes, right? Um, I can make three groups of 60, right? So let me go ahead and do that. So I got 60 right there, which is 
one hour. I can go ahead and make another group of 60, which is another hour. Let me use a different color. Right? And then again, I can go ahead and make one more group of 60. That's one more hour. So right now I've got three hours, right? I've, I've been able to take one chunk of 60 minutes out, which is an hour. Another chunk of 60 minutes, that's another hour. And a third chunk of 60 minutes, that's a third hour, okay? But now I've got some, uh, I've got this left over right here. Let me use green, okay? Now, this, these three chunks are 180. And this chunk right here, oh, I'm sorry, this chunk right here is not another whole hour. It's not another group of 60. This is nine minutes. I've got, oops, I'm gonna go with black. This last part is nine minutes, okay? It's only nine minutes. I can't make another hour there, all right? So you can see right here, look, boom. Ugh, it's a bad bracket. No, that's not a bad bracket. Hold on. That's okay. All right, not too bad. All right, so I've got three. I've got three hours here, right? And then I've got nine minutes left over. Boom! There we go. All right. So you can see it in the bar model, and you can see it just by using division that. 189 minutes equals three hours and nine minutes. Okay, so for your work, I expect to see you guys using this division work right here. If you want to go above and beyond, you can also draw the bar model to show me how you, bre you break up the, um, the minutes into hours.